What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Crypto Beard. My name is Devin, and this channel is devoted to keeping you in the know with everything that's happening in the crypto sphere. With that said, let's get into today's video where we're going to talk about the best kept secret in crypto. And yes, that's right. I am talking about Solana. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm joking, guys. But it would be fun to, uh, to it's, I always have fun joking around with you guys. But anyways, uh, Solana, <laughs> Solana is not the best kept secret. The best kept secret in crypto is Cadena. And why is Cadena the best kept secret in, in, in crypto? Well, for starters, not a lot of people know about it, but that's not what makes it the best. What makes it the best is the technological superiority that Cadena provides. Now, in my last Cadena video, I had someone comment that said, Devin, you should really do a video about Chainweb. So that is really what this video is all about. It's about the fundamental technology behind Cadena, which makes it something that we should be interested in and something that you should pay attention to. Now, with that said, uh, you, you have to understand a little bit about graph technology and blockchain and how blockchain works to, in order to understand what makes it so great. And they have a really great inf infographic, which I'll link to down in the description below. So, because I don't want to just regurgitate information, I want to tell you why that information is important. So, Cadena uses what they call chain web as far as their blockchain technology. In other words, Cadena is not just one single chain where information, because if you're, if, here, short little blockchain in, informational right here. So Bitcoin, how it works is it is a chain of blocks and in each block is the history that of everything that's happened up until that point. And then in the next block is additional history, is, is all the history that's happened plus the newest information. So that is how it is a immutable ledger that is decentralized because that history is held by all the nodes. So they all work to solve that problem and whoever solves that problem and has the history and has the, the history of everything that's happened plus the new information they get to record that new information and then everybody else in the chain copies it down. So that's how blockchain technology works in a nutshell. I know that's not the best and, and, and uh, greatest way to explain it, but that's how it works. So the problem with blockchain technology is it, it, we can do a lot of things with it, but it does have a bottleneck with through, throughput because when you get enough users trying to do a ton of transactions, the chain can only add blocks so fast. And so we see issues with this on Bitcoin, on Ethereum, with gas fees and things like that. What you, and even Solana, you see issues not with gas fees necessarily, but with throughput of the network because of how it is structured. Now, what uh, Cadena does in chain web is very different because instead of one chain, you have 20 chains and, and, and they are, are grouped together in such a way where it's not like the, the, the same information is copied, but one point does not have to go talk to all 20 of them, okay? Because the, the, the setup of how you have those chains really does affect how data is um, how data moves throughout it so it and it's important to understand that because here's why okay because how your network is set up will determine your speed of transactions which is very critical and the network capability to handle large computing loads because if it is set up in such a way where it is super inefficient, you can have some heavy applications that will bog down the network and cause the network to fail. We've seen this with Solana, We've seen this with other blockchain projects. So Cadena solves this problem fundamentally. And that makes me really excited about it. That makes me want to learn more about PACT, the programming language, and learn more about how to things that I can bring to this network uh, to help 
to help it to grow because it stands the best chance of really revolutionizing the world. And the other reason why this is so critical, guys, is because while we do kind of have some intermingling of blockchains with Ethereum with layer twos, anytime that you have a layer two, you have a you're going to have a a a lessened a weakened security, right? Because now you're using a, another chain um, with other nodes, and it, it's the network is literally just not as strong. But anytime you have this web of chains, you have more security because of the fact that there are multi multiple chains inter intermingled and because of the way the technology works. So you have a greater security, you have greater th uh, throughput, you have greater speed capability, and a greater load capacity. All those things are critical, critical to global expansion. To being to have a network that can sustain billions of users and tons of transactions every second. So, with that said, guys, that is the key difference to Katana, and that's the reason for this video. Hey guys, if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date every time we release something. Look forward to bringing you more content every day here on Crypto Beard. Until then, we'll catch you next time. Peace.